G'day and welcome back to Unimig. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the ViperCut 30 for ferrous metals. Please note that this machine is subject to three main elements, travel speed, amperage and air pressure. For this demonstration, we'll be using a constant 75 psi air pressure. However, the amperage and travel speed per 100 millimeters will differ per thickness of material. We will have a link to download the general guidelines in the description below. First, let's plug our 10 amp machine into our wall socket then turn the machine on and organize our suitable PPE. Step one, connect air compressor. To connect the air compressor, simply attach the end of the hose to the air regulator on the back of the machine. If using a normal hose, not a quick connect, make sure you crimp it tight. Now adjust the pressure to get just over 0.5 MPA, equivalent to 75 PSI. Step two, torch setup. The SC30 plasma torch that comes with this machine will already be set up. However, to set up this torch from scratch, you'll need a gas distributor, electrode, torch tip, and the shroud. To put together, simply place on the gas distributor, screw on the electrode, place on the tip, and finally, screw on the shroud. Step three, amperage adjustment. Different thicknesses of ferrous material require different amperages to cut, with two to three millimeter requiring 24 amps, moving at 360 millimeters per minute. Five to six millimeters requiring 27 amps, moving at 340 millimeters per minute. Eight to 10 millimeters requiring 30 amps, moving at 240 millimeters per minute. And finally, 12 millimetres also requiring 30 amps, but moving at a slower speed of 200 millimetres per minute. Step four, cutting. The final step is to attach the earth clamp to the workpiece or workbench and start cutting. 